I have always had a love for knives, so I decided to learn how to make them. As I progressed in the learning of my art, I realized there is a real lack of quality products. Modern manufacturing has gone from engineering products that last to ones that only last for a short time. Maybe one year, maybe a bit more. I forge each of my knives to last generations. I believe that people can see the quality I put into every knife I make. Part of that quality is tradition. I use traditional methods to ensure the blades will last and last. These traditional methods have been tossed to the wayside for faster, cheaper ways to manufacture. But there are qualities lost. These losses can be seen on the microscopic level. Steel has a crystalline structure inside it. These crystals get squished into the form that is being hammered out. This makes the steel stronger than if the crystals were cut by machining methods. Carbon is the most important element in steel. Carbon is what makes iron strong and hard. After the blade is forged to shape, the steel is heated to a point where it loses it, its magnetic properties. It is at this point the carbon in the steel is now moving freely inside the chemical structure. Iron molecules form a cubic structure. The blade is slowly cooled to allow the carbon to move to where it is inside the center of the cubic structure of the iron matrix. When the carbon is inside the center of the cubic structure, the steel is soft and flexible. When the steel is soft, the blade is ground to its final shape. Grinding also cleans the steel for the hardening process. The heat treat process is the most important part of a knife. This is where my knives differ from a factory knife. A factory knife will harden the whole knife and then temper the whole blade to the same amount. My knives harden only the cutting edge. This leaves the back of the blade softer and more flexible. Then I temper only the cutting edge to increase durability. After the knife has been hardened and tempered, it is time to polish the blade and fit the guard in the handle. Polishing the blade tends to take a lot of time. The guard has to slip over the tang of the knife, so holes are drilled into the guard and the holes are filed to a rectangular slot. The guard then fits over the tang of the knife and then the guard is soldered to the tang. The solder prevents water from seeping down into from the guard into the tang of the knife and causing corrosion. Once the guard has been soldered on, the tang is then heated up and the handle is burned onto the tang. This creates a hole in the handle that is perfectly shaped to the tang and prevents the handle from loosening up over time. Once the handle is burned onto the knife and everything is cool, I use epoxy to hold everything together. Once the epoxy is dry, it is time to shape and polish the wood. Now that the knife is made, we have to make a sheath. The leather is cut, sewn together, then dyed, polished, and waxed. Okay, so the knife sheath is done. I took a bra shoe polish, polished it up for a nice shiny look. Knife fits in there real nice. Snap works out real nice. Got a nice area for the guard to sit. Sit real nice on your hip.